Hello, hello. It is Wednesday. It is like 12.30 and I'm walking Bean. I've been so lazy this morning, this afternoon. Like lazy, lazy. So, XO is with uh, their boyfriend and their boyfriend's BFF at a cookout that the boyfriend's BFF drove them to and I, they asked me about this the other day and I was like, I don't know about this. I having a boy drive you somewhere. I, I don't know. You know, I mean, Exo's almost 16. I've known the boyfriend now for almost a year and a half, almost two years maybe. And I did meet um, the boyfriend's um, best friend. But with all that, you know, I mean, true crime, I know, true crime, whatever. But that, did I just set myself up for an episode on true crime podcast? You know what I'm saying? Not to make light of it because that really happens. I have the address of where they're at. I even I came downstairs like to talk to the to the driver. I was like, "Hey." And I wrote down the driver's uh the license plate number, but I didn't tell them that cuz I didn't want to seem like a creeper, but I did write it down. So I'm like, and I know EXO wants to get out and do things like that. You know, like I get it. They're getting older and want to go do things like a grown up, you know, and I get it. So I was like, "Okay." You know, and I don't want to be a weirdo, but then I do want to be a weirdo because I want to make sure my kid is safe. And I was like, hey, you better not be speeding. You know, I asked him how long they'd been driving and stuff like that. And his car was very clean. I will say that. Very well kept. It looks very nice. It wasn't junky or anything like that. So, I don't know. I don't know if I just made a big mistake or not. But I know Exo was really happy to go and be able to go, you know, on a little adventure with her buddies. But, oh. Anyway, so I'm walking Bean, and I think I'm going to go do some laundry, and then, you know, I'm just going to be lazy. The car is at the shop. I haven't heard anything back from them, but I do have a lot of laundry I could do, and just, I guess, watch the show and do laundry and rest. My, my knee actually feels a lot better from, I guess, all this resting it, but yeah, that's the plan. You know, I, I don't know. Would you have let your 16-year-old, you know, kid go off with two boys that are 17 years old? Well, one of them's 18, so, you know, I don't know. But I wanted, uh, I don't know, I'm done. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go do some laundry. I was reading some comments on uh, one of my videos where I was complaining about my ex-husband. And people that comment, like, oh, you're crying on the internet. You know, people comment about their dumb ex-husbands who don't pay child support as well. And I just want to say to these people that comment these, video, these comments on these videos that, you know, shut up. Go back down to your mother's basement. Put your video game back into your Xbox slot and play your video game. Or go outside, get on your bicycle, and ride it around the block. All right? Because I'm sure all these men that comment, like, oh, you're just crying on the internet, well, <laughs> are behind on their child support. Probably don't have a car, don't have a job. So shut up. Nobody cares about your opinion. Nobody. It's 3 o'clock. Benson and I are sitting on our sea of a couch. I'm watching Fresh Off the Boat. I washed my hair because it was looking a little nuts. I haven't heard from the car place. I should call them. I can call them. I'm going to call them. I just know it's a lot of money. And, I mean, to hear the total is kind of frightening. Um, but I guess I'll call them. But I've been watching Fresh Off the Boat. I haven't done any laundry. I've got the windows open. It's nice and just like the breeze is flowing through. And I've just been sitting here, you know, just being lazy. And it's been nice. XO is okay. I called, well, I text. And I'm, you know, the, the child has the phone here, always, wherever, strapped to their face, you know, like that. The phone is like right here. But when mom's trying to get an answer, it's like, oh, what's a phone? I don't know. And then I'm sitting here thinking, is my kid in a ditch? Okay. So I called the boyfriend and I called the best friend like, hello, someone, hi. You know, I just want to know, are we good? Are we okay? They're okay. Um, but like I said, it's three o'clock. So now they're going to um, stay and have um, 
dinner. I guess this is like a when I they called and they called me. I could hear some music in the background and people talking and having a good time. So they're staying to have dinner too. They're just having a good time, and I get it. I get it. But I was like, hey, when I text you or call you, answer the phone, because then I start thinking crazy thoughts. But as I started, I was always like that. I was like that with the boys anyway. Before I started the crime podcast. Like, if I didn't hear from them, they're in the ditch. You know, it's just, I guess being a mom, you always think the worst if you don't hear from your children. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you the update of my day, which is absolutely nothing. This dog sleeps like a champion. When I used to leave him in the beginning to go to work, I always pictured him jumping around, skipping around, playing with his toys, you know, running around in circles. Wait for me to get home. This is all he does. This is it. I have to nudge him to be like, hey, you want to go outside? He just, this is his life. And he likes it, I guess. I got him. Sleeping. Anyway, I just wanted to, to say hello. I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day. Boring, but I guess a boring day is needed every now and then. Yesterday at this time, we were, I don't know, walking around. I, I guess the main part, I guess, of going to an amusement park like that is walking around and waiting in lines. Because we waited in line for 30 minutes for one ride, which is crazy. And that wasn't even, like, the hype of summer, which I would assume a park would be at its full capacity, fully running. Because this, the park was only open for spring break, so... Some stuff wasn't open, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I can't imagine what it would be like July. I'm getting my uh, room and everything booked for July for when we go down to Hatteras. Because, like I told you last year, we couldn't go. But this year, we're going. So I'm going to get, um, I'm going to book my room this week and get that sorted out. Um, yeah, and get it ready because we're going. We're going to stay, we're going to go for four days, so I'm super excited to get down there because we didn't go last year. So we're going to make up for it this year, but anyway, that was my update on our boring day. I just picked the car up from the tire place, $471, four new tires and a front end alignment. So, but I'm riding on new tires because my tires were looking a little rough and I'm really trying to keep up with everything, you know, make sure. We're cruising along safely because I'm trying to hold on to this for a while. Um, anyway, I just left the Kratom store where I buy all my vape stuff. Every now and then I get a little testy because I want my vape. You know, I know I said it before the last time. I'm not giving, I'm not going to give in. I'm not just every now and then I get a little testy because, uh, and, you know, I'd like to have my vape when I know like today I had to make a bunch of phone calls to me that it felt like grown up important phone important phone calls like doctor's appointments and things like that and I, I wouldn't usually sit there with my vape and my pencil and paper <laughs> it's fine it's fine no vape I got my kratom kratom this is what I take it's endo kratom silver OPMS Without that, I would not be running the streets of my route. My back would be killing me. It would. It helps my mood. It helps my back. Body aches and pains. It does. It really does. But anyway, um, I'm going to go home now. My brain is scrambled. It's that time. Womanly, you know, my brain gets a little fried and scrambled. Just uh, put four hundred and seventy-one dollars into this car, but that's fine because you got to maintain. Got to maintain. Um, Exo still with their friends, so I'm gonna go home. I didn't do I didn't do any laundry. I don't know if I told you that or not, but I did nothing. So I'm going home. Look at the tread, guys. Brand new tires, looking good. I love you, I need you, I want to kiss you all over, and over again, 
I want to kiss you all over Till the night closes in Till the night closes in Guys, look what I got. Look at all this. Look at all these scentsies. My buddy, uh, I got these from my buddy from the post office. Look at that, the whole box. And then this whole bag. All these scentsies. There's so many of them. He just let me grab, I mean, there was like boxes, boxes, but this is what I grabbed. Look at that one. I'm set. And he gave me um, one of these. I got one in the kitchen and one in the bathroom. Anyway, it is 10 16 uh, and I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to wash my face. Um, since I last talked to you, I put my face on um, because I went over to my buddy from the post office's place because they're getting rid of a lot of things. Um, there was a death in the family, so they're just trying to get rid of a bunch of things. So I got a bunch of Cincy stuff. So, um, but anyway. I just got back 10 16 I'm gonna wash my face I'm gonna take bean out for his final business trip and then I'm gonna lay down and I'm gonna go to bed tomorrow is Thursday so I don't know what um, XO and I are gonna do I kind of like to do the whole uh, Olive Garden thrift store thing because I have two gift cards for Olive Garden that from Christmas from my route that I haven't used yet so I don't know we'll see we'll see oh XO has made it home safely. The cookout turned into the to a dinner. XO got home around seven seven thirty seven thirty. Uh, but they had a great time. I only text like fifty times just to make sure. Are we good? We're good. You need me? You need me? Um, but they had a good time. Uh, yeah. So safe at home safe at home um yeah i think i would let them go again you know little by little i don't know um, but right now i'm gonna wash my face and i'm gonna get ready for bed i hope that you're having a good day i hope you're having a good week i will talk to you tomorrow as always i'll vlog again tomorrow bye everyone